Hello everybody and welcome back to Mac Gaming Revolution. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install and configure Mythic Launcher, which at the moment is an Epic Games Launcher alternative, similarly to Heroic Games Launcher. What separates it from Heroic Games Launcher, however, is its macOS native UI written in Swift, giving it a more Mac uh, native flavor, so it'll fit in a lot better with other stuff. And on top of that, it uses the most modern version of game porting toolkit offering better performance than Heroic. Additionally, you can even add your own programs and games separately that aren't from Epic Games. For example, you can add Steam, although the developer has stated that they will later be adding Steam support to this as well. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. First, you're going to want to go to getmythic.app or click on the link in the description. Then you're simply going to want to click on either this download button or this one right here. They both do the same thing. And it'll simply auto-download. Once you've clicked the download button, you should have this file right here, mythic.zip. Simply double click on it to open it up. You can delete the zip file and then take this and drag it right into applications right there. And you should have something like this just the mythic application in your applications folder. Next, you're going to want to right click on this, select open. You're going to need to do this because it appears the app is not signed and it'll pop up with a warning message to do so. If you try right clicking and it doesn't work the first time or we'll just only give you the option to cancel, simply just right click it again and then select open again and you will get this screen right here. Push open and open the app. Next, you're simply going to want to complete the setup process. In the setup process, Mythic is going to have you sign into Epic Games. If you don't want to use the Epic Games feature, you can simply just skip it with this button right here. If you do want to use Epic Games and have a, an experience similar to the Heroic Games launcher, then you're just simply going to want to sign in to the web browser page it'll open up. You're going to want to copy this authorization code right here in quotations, this thing right there and then paste it right into Mythic, and then select this arrow. And if you don't want to do any of this through Epic Games, then again, you can just select this arrow right there. After it's finished downloading the Windows translation layer and Mythic Engine, you're going to want to push this arrow to finish the setup process. And after you push that, you should be met with this screen. This will just, the home button will show any games you have favorited, the library will show all of the games you own in your Epic Games library option. So all of these games here I have on Epic Games. And you have the option to pretty much yeah, download and install and play any one of these games. Like for example for this, if I were to do this, you can choose a bunch of things. You can choose the platform to download it on, you can choose the path, You can, and then you can just simply select download. And it'll just run and set up and everything and install. In order to add an external Windows game from another source that isn't Epic Games, you're going to want to navigate over to your library tab right here, and then in the upper right corner, or the middle-ish area, you're going to want to click on this little plus icon. Next, you're going to want to select Local. From here, you can set up the details for your game. Again, this will also work for launchers as well, for such as Steam. You can name it whatever you want in here and then set your native platform. Assuming it's a Windows game, you can select Windows, or if you just wanna launch a native Mac game through this, you can select Mac OS. But you know, in the example you're running Windows, you'll just keep it as Windows. And then next, you're going to select right here, browse, and then find the .exe file of the game. For example, I'm going to be launching UltraKill through it. I can simply get my UltraKill .exe file Select open. After that, I can add a custom thumbnail URL if I want. I'm just not gonna do that. And then click done. Now Ultra Kill will appear in my library and I can simply push play to launch it whenever I want or star to add it to my home. And essentially in its current state right now, this functions essentially pretty much like a nicer looking heroic launcher and a more up to date heroic launcher with like the more with the more modern game porting toolkit, so it should have better performance than Heroic Launcher. And it also can perform, you can also download and install the Mac native versions of the games as well. 
and if you had your account linked and everything, you can even buy new games from the Epic Games Store from the Store tab right here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll make sure to post regular update videos, along with more tutorials in the future on how to install things like Steam and other external Windows games that aren't run through a launcher from sources such as GOG. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.